Hello, creative friends, and welcome to the Stampin' Squad. My name is Cheryl Dorsey. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and thank you for tuning into my channel today. I have a great card for you today. If you like whimsical animals, this is your card. So let me show you a couple of things we're gonna be using. We're going to be using this fantastic paper. It's so adorable with all the little animals. There are several different sheets with different animals in this paper pack. You're gonna love that. Um, and then also, we are going to be using the Zany Zoo stamp set and the dies, the coordinating dies. Um, and you'll see some of the animals here that you can stamp and color. So if you like to color, that's super fun. Um, and then use the dies to cut those out. Um, if you don't want to color, you can use the dies to cut out some of these animals. And you, that means you can make a really quick and easy card. So let me give you a sneak peek of the card that we're making today. Here it is. She's adorable. I love this. So that's what we're going to make. And I am going to show you step by step how I made that card. So sit back and relax and I'll show you how. You can make one too. All right, here we go. So here's what you need to make this card. This is a piece of Calypso coral cardstock, measured five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. A piece of basic black cardstock, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. A piece of designer series paper that is four inches by five and a quarter inches the same size, four inches by five and a quarter inches, of basic white, another piece of the basic black that is three and three eighths by three and three eighths, so it's a perfect square, and then a piece of white that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then last, I just have this little strip. It is four inches wide. It's gonna go on the inside of my card. It's four inches wide. And I think that's probably about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch wide. You make that um, as, as wide as you want or as skinny as you want. That's up to you. Okay, let me go ahead and adhere together a few of these things so I don't have so many things sitting on my desk because when I have a lot of things sitting on my work surface, I tend to lose things. So let's start here. And I'm going to use my liquid glue and we're going to adhere this piece of DSP. Look at these cute animals on the back. It's kind of uh, sad to cover them up but got plenty of sheets of designer series paper in that pack. So I know I'll have an opportunity to use those cute animals on another project. All right, now we want to adhere this to our card base. Remember it's Calypso Coral. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the inside of our card as well. Just gonna adhere this piece to my basic white. Let's see if I can get it on there straight. Pull that down a little bit. That's why I like the green glue, the multi-purpose glue, because when I set something down, I do have just a minute where I could move it around a little bit if I want to. As I don't know about you, but I rarely <laughs> put things down exactly where I want them on the first try. So you may be better than that than I am, um, better at that than I am, and maybe tape adhesive works better for you. All right. Now, let's go ahead and bring in this piece of basic white. And I'm going to grab my lemon lily. 
ink pad and I'm gonna get one of the small blending brushes and I'm going to put a little bit of ink right in the middle, kind of in an oval pattern. And I'm just gonna keep adding until I get this as dark as I want it. And on my card, this kind of represents the spotlight <laughs> that's on the ballerina. So I thought that was a cute way to kind of uh, take this piece of white up a notch by adding a little bit of color. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. There we go. All right, that's good. Now I'm just gonna set that aside for a moment. Let's do some stamping. I'm gonna take my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I have some scraps here. So I measured out for you all of the large pieces that are gonna go on the card, but we also need some little scraps. So I've got a couple of scraps of basic white and First, I'm going to stamp this sentiment. Happy birthday to you. It is part of the stamp set. So I'm just going to stamp it in the center here. There's that. And then I need to stamp the ballerina. So let's ink this up. And so I'm going to put her right here. There she is. It's so cute. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Then I did some coloring. So for the ballerina, I used Calypso Coral for her body. And I used Pool Party, light and dark, for the belt around her tutu, around her waist, and the flower. And then for the middle of the flower, I used Daffodil Delight. I'll use Daffodil Delight again a little bit later. Oh, and actually, I said Daffodil Delight. That's Lemon Lolly, <laughs> the same color that it's here. All right, so I went ahead and colored before I came on today, so you don't have to watch me color her. But as I said, Calypso Coral is her body, her little waist and the flower, and also her slippers our pool party, and then right in the middle of that flower is a little bit of lemon lolly. And I'm gonna, I, I left her tutu white, but I wanna make it a little bit fancy. So I'm gonna grab my Wink of Estella glitter brush, and I'm going to just put a little bit of glitter on her tutu. So we're gonna cross it once. Let's just go across it again to add another layer because I really want it to be sparkly. That seems right, huh? Tutu should be sparkly. All right, and I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up because it's kind of subtle, but her tutu is sparkly now. All right, let's talk about a few other scraps and some die cutting. So I also have a strap, a scrap of our um, vellum cardstock, a little scrap of a basic black, and I have a scrap of pool party. So these are dies that are in the die set that coordinates with the stamp set. So I cut out two of these, two curtains, and then one of this little border that's gonna be the top of the stage. Then I also cut out these. I don't even know if you can see that. It's quite small. These are the tie backs for the curtains. So we did those. Then um, last, I've got this die that will cut out our little leopard. So cute, right? And then I've got these from the layering circles dies to cut all of these out. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to set all those things aside. And I did most of the die cutting. The one thing that I didn't die cut is our little ballerina. So let's do that now. And grab my cut and emboss machine. And I'll just bring it in here real quick. And where are my plates? Here we go. So I'm going to set this up here and I'm going to use a little bit of post-it tape um, to hold the die in place so it doesn't slip as I'm running it through the machine. I'm going to grab another little piece over here and put that one right here. So the post-it tape is not super sticky, but it's sticky enough that it will hold that in place. I buy my post-it tape from Amazon down in the description and you'll see some links. And um, one of them is for the tape. So there she is, adorable. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, let's start putting some more things together. So here are the curtains that I had previously die cut and the topper. So let's go ahead and put those on this piece of basic white. So just a little bit of glue here. We don't need a lot. Um, I don't know if you can see here, the die actually cuts um, some little grooves in there. So we don't want to put so much glue that all the glue is going to come gushing through those little slits in the curtain. And the other curtain. I was definitely sold on this set when I saw it in the catalog, but then when I actually got it, and saw all these wonderful dyes. I was so happy that I got it because <laughs> I love these kind of special little dyes that could be used with anything, right? It could be used with any project that you might want to have some curtains. I can think of a, a lot of ways to use that. So this is a little bit longer than we need. So let me go ahead and just put it on here and then I'm just going to trim it with my paper snips. Again, that liquid glue saves me because I can move that around to where just where I want it. Okay. Now we can attach this to that piece of basic black. So let's do that. It's always dangerous for me to do a card that has a lot of pieces because I'm bound to lose something. So I'm happy so far we've made it through and I haven't lost anything yet. So that's, that's great. All right, got that done. Now let's put this on here. A little more liquid glue. There we are. Well, I think we've got that straight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use some dimensionals. So she's popped up a little bit and put her on the stage. There's so many cute animals in this set. So you could definitely die cut animals, but also that designer series paper has many more animals that you could fussy cut pretty easily and use those on your projects. 
this backing is sticking to my fingers. I'm having a hard time getting rid of it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoops, there's a piece of it right there. Let's put her right about here. Adorable. Okay, now let's grab a few other things. I talked about the vellum, the basic black, and these are all from the layering circles dies. So let's adhere these together. So this goes on here, and the black is just gonna barely peek out around the edges of that basic white, you see? Then this, this goes on the vellum. And let me center that on there. All right, now I'm going to let that dry for just a minute and do a couple other things here. I talked about the sashes, so I had already die cut those as well, and they're quite tiny. They are quite tiny. So I am going to use um, this glue. It's got a fine tip on it. So you just take off the lid and it's got this little tiny metal, um, kind of like a rod, but it's super tiny. And that, when you're storing it, it goes inside this little tip to keep it from clogging. So. That's fantastic. Let me grab my reverse tweezers here. I'm using a lot of my favorite tools today, it seems. So there'll be a link for the reverse tweezers too, if that's something you're looking for. Okay, let's put this right here. Whoop, it's stuck to my hand. <laughs> I don't want it glued to my hand. There we go. Goodness. There. Okay. Now let's grab the other one. And put a little glue on here. Now this glue is clear. We just need a little bit. It's super strong, just like the liquid, the multi-purpose liquid glue in the green bottle. There we go. Now, we need to put our sentiment on there. Let me grab some more dimensionals. And um, when you're working with vellum, you always wanna make sure that you're not putting something on the back that's gonna show through. So I'm gonna be careful and keep my dimensionals in this area, so they're not showing through on the vellum, okay? I probably could have used small ones, but I'm just gonna squeeze these in here. And then we'll put this on, and then I have a little bling. I wanna put a little bling on it. So this is gonna go right here. It's so cute. I adore this. It's just adorable, adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna use these rhinestone basic jewels, but I'm gonna grab my dark lemon lolly and I'm going to color my rhinestones. Did you know you could do this with your blends? You can color to make your rhinestones any color that will coordinate with your project. All right, let's see. Let's put one up here. And one more over here. And the last one, let's put on the other side, down here. There we go. And there's our card. 
happy birthday card, this adorable cheetah. I guess, I don't know if she's a cheetah or a leopard. Um, that's a ballerina on stage. And there's the inside of your card. So that's it for today. Let me know if you ha already have this set, this stamp set and die set, or if you must have it <laughs> now that you've seen this card. All right. Thank you for watching today. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.